I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to Global Learning. Here is second formula for integration, which is integral of ax plus b to the power of n dx is equal to ax plus b to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1a, right, uh, plus c. Now, in this particular case, uh, we have four examples which are very much related. You can pause the video, answer these questions, and then check with my solution. So the very first one here is integral of 5x minus 3 to the power of minus 7. So directly the formula can be applied. So what we get here is 5x minus 3 and the power minus 7. We are going to add 1 and we are going to divide. So we say n plus 1 times a. The constant a here is 5, correct? So, so we get here minus 7 plus 1 times a, which is 5, right, plus a constant c. The value of C can be found if you know initial conditions or boundary conditions or something else about the given function, right? So, so the final answer for this will be 5x minus 3 to the power of minus 6 over minus 6 times 5, which is, we can write here, negative, and minus 6 times 5 is 30 plus C, correct? So that becomes your final answer. At times, you may, you may write this answer as uh, this in the denominator, but this is uh, good enough, right? So sometimes, somewhere, uh, people may write this as minus 30 times 5x minus 3 to the power of 6 plus c, right? However, I feel that this is good enough when you're doing integration, correct? Okay, now let's take up the next example here, which is integral of square root of cx plus d dx. Now we have taken a very general function. So any square root can be written as a power of half. So I could write this as cx plus d to the power of half, right? dx. Now that means applying the formula in the numerator, we get cx plus d and to the power of half means half plus one, right? Half plus one divided by half plus 1, right, times the constant c, right, plus this is capital C, okay. Now, half plus 1 is 3 by 2, and this is also 3 by 2, so I could write this as 2 by 3 here, right, reciprocal of this, and we get here cx plus d to the power of 3 by 2 over c, right, some small lowercase, and this is some other constant, See, is it clear to you? So that is how you can actually get your solution. Perfect. Now these two are for you to practice. So I like you to pause the video, answer these questions, and then see my solutions, right? So next I'll provide you with their solutions, correct? So here are part C and D for integration. We are using formula two, which is integral of ax plus b to the power of n dx is equal to ax plus b to the power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 times a plus c, right? So we have two more examples. Let's see how to solve them. So we could write this as integral of, now what do we have here? We have 2x plus 3 to the power of, so when it is in the denominator, it is minus 1 over 3, correct? So that is how we should be writing. And now it is in our form, which the formula given to us, we can apply our integration formula number two, get these solutions, right? So, so the integral for this will be 2x plus 3 to the power of minus 1 over 3 plus 1 divided by um, 2 times. I'm writing this constant first in the formula it is written later, right? So that's okay. You could write either way. Times, we could write this as minus 1 over 3 plus 1, correct? Plus a constant c. So that gives you, now this is, when you take away one from three, you get two over three, right? So we could write, this is two x plus three to the power of two over three, right? Two over three. Now, this is also two over three, so I'm splitting this and writing as three over two, and we already have half it. Does it make sense to you? Plus c, correct? So now we'll write our final answer, which is three over four of two x plus three to the power of 2 over 3 plus c. So these are the steps which can help you solve this particular question. 
right? The last one here is integral of 4x minus 3 to the power of 1 over 5, correct? Okay, so, so that gives you 4x minus 3 to the power of 1 over 5 plus 1 divided by, uh, I'm writing 4 first, right, and then the power, 1 over 5 plus 1, right, so plus a constant c, and that is equal to, so if you add 1 to 1 over 5, you get 6 over 5, right, so you get 4x minus 3 to the power of 6 over 5, right, and 1 over 4, and then this is, okay, so now let's go two steps. So we have 1 over 4 here times 6 over 5, right? So that will go in the numerator, so, okay? So we'll get this result as, so now we could write this as 5 over 4 times 6, which is 24, correct? And we have 4x minus 3. So, so this is like 4x minus 3, you could also write as times fifth root of 4x minus 3, right? So this is uh, 1 plus this. You could also write this as fifth root of 4x minus 3 plus a constant c, or you can leave it at x as to the power of x over 5, either way, right? So, so I hope that helps. So we have seen how the formula 2, which is slightly, um, slight modification of our formula 1, can be applied. Now let's take up the formula number 3 to practice more about finding definite integ indefinite integral solutions using antiderivatives. I hope you're finding this series interesting and useful. I'll encourage you to write your comments, share with me your questions. We could take them up in the worksheet. Thanks for your time and all the best.